Go from killing the lost to running all the way up to Sandy Shores airstrip. Mm. Oh. Oh, well, how many people got here? We got four people in here. We can do four person jobs. Oh, um, he, he just got on. Maybe he's gonna get on the maybe he's gonna get on though. Uh, maybe. We'll see. No, we, yeah, let's just queue up some four person jobs because then. Okay. Well, I gotta. I'm fucking still running from the cops from that. Oh, I just lost uh, them. Nice from sure. those. I need, I need to go get my um, touchdown to impact anyways. I'm gonna fly, yeah, I'm gonna fly. I didn't want to lose my slam van, so I ran all the way to the Sandy Shore airstrip. <laughs> Live long and you prosper, ran. Leonard Nimoy. I will miss you. Rest in peace, yeah, sir. My, da I have, my dad told me that told me that this morning. And I was like, wait. I have to, he was, he was old Spock in the new Star Trek. The, the yeah, new Star Trek it's the original also. Spock. Yeah. 83 years old, very accomplished photographer, oh, writer, wow. musician, 83. And, he uh... Lived, he, lived, he lived a long time, then. Yeah, you know, fucking William Shatner is like 80. <clears throat> George Decay. Now, you know, there's only four left of the main uh, deck crew. Uh, Walter Cohen, a.k.a. Chekhov. George Decay, of course. Sulu. Who doesn't love George Takai? And, and William Shatner, of course. James Tiberius Kirk, who, to be honest, I think my outlive them like all. You came to them, Tom, and, and I am so sorry that I'm forgetting your name right now. But, of course, the beautiful woman that played Uhura. But, you know, that was a very scandalous thing, to have a sexy lead female black actress. Gene Roddenberry was ahead of his time in so many ways. Now, let's count off all the technological devices we have only because of Star Trek. Oh, I don't know. iPad? <gasps> Oh yeah, all the ideas were USB from drives. The USB drive. Yeah. The 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 Pakistani gentleman that holds half the patent on the USB drive was inspired by the fake one they made to plug into data on one of the episodes. Oh wow. Episode two, season one, Jean Luc Picard pulls up a touchscreen tablet, and Bill Gates is inspired to invent the actual first tablet in two thousand and two before Apple invented the iPad. But everyone laughed at him, saying no one would want a tablet or to carry it around. And now, of course, Windows Surface outselling the iPads. So, what goes around comes around. Yeah. I mean, if I get a tablet, it'll probably be a Windows Surface one, not an iPad. I wouldn't even call this a tablet. But, you know, it's, it's also, now, look at phones. First, we got huge yeah. phones. Mobile phones. Flip phones. We talk to each other. Then we degrade now it down to, well, then we degrade it from talking to texting, from texting to hieroglyphs, a.k.a. emoji. People don't even type anymore. They just type, like, B-R-B-L-L-L and little smiley faces. So we Holy don't even... Shit. Oh, fuck. What was that? <laughs> a freaking smart nigga spawned top of another one, and the other one blew up. Oh, I see that all the time. <laughs> that was the first time I saw it. Maybe, I think maybe it's because we both were here. Guess what? Yep, you did jump. Hi, train. Oh shit! <laughs> All I look back and see a train hit your car and raise you say hi, train. <laughs> Let me get it. Let me get you. Just want that car to go boom. That's how I motherfucking do it. Uh, you parachute it in between three buildings, spin around one all the way, and land right at your doorstep? Ah, uh, what's up? Stop you you motherfucking butthole. Motherfucking bunghole. I got an hour left. We're going to be doing some missions here, folks. Uh, make sure you got some vests and food. But we're going to be doing mission missions, and we're going to start off with a $27,000 five-part mission with hacking, flying, driving, shooting, and remember, folks, heist, ten think, and a half days a away. A ten and a half days, people. So, remember, if you die on a mission, you fail a heist. Pure and simple. There's no extra lives. It's LTS rules. If you got a four-person crew and you die in the first part of the heist, you're out for the rest of the heist. No money. You die, you don't get paid. Simple as that. Can you survive? Let's find out. Now, the rule of thumb is when we go through the vote screen after the first one, let's try to do Gerald, Lester, Martin, and so forth jobs. If we don't find one of those, we can switch to an LTS, a parachute, or a race. But, of course, LTSs pay as much as races and are faster to get through to the next vote screen. You know, you can do a race that takes five minutes for, you know, seven grand, or do a job that takes ten minutes for thirty grand. It's kind of up to people, but 
I'm good to go whenever. Uh, I'm going to go uh, uh, I'm take I'm a shower. To to buy some, yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff. I got seven vests. That's enough for the hour I got left on the show. I will be taking down a little bit, like I said, just an hour early today, uh, even though it's a Friday, because the kid's got his first school dance tonight, and we're going to go to that, and me and the girl are going to go on a date during it. So... Out of P's and Q's. Nah, they're always out of P's and Q's. Assholes. Oh, I guess I already had had the armor. Yeah. Well, I built my house by buying a tree here. I'm gonna need a stripper real quick. Take your time. No rush. We all get some water. I got this queued up, but you guys don't come in until you have your food, your car is out of hock, <laughs> your weapons, and all the stuff you need. But for this one, we can be on ground for most of it, and a couple buzzards, and we're good. Can you pass into my car? Why? It's one. Did you crash into your car? Oh my god, my fucking ammo bill from that yesterday, is that, that fight, was 20 grand. Ah. Damn. No, the one where I was inside the building, the being humane, I was like bombing everyone. <laughs> yeah, mine was, mine was huge. Mine was huge. I just thought I'll have one... <laughs> What, the next um, thing. He said his was huge. I still need. I still need to buy. I still need to buy an RPG so that way I can keep all the RPG ammo. Cause then, then I won't just. I won't even buy ammo. I'll just pick it up. I'll just pick it up in your death matches. Which is what I'm gonna do once I get an get a mini gun. I'll just break in the slam van. Yeah, I, I think I have the I have the armory map. I have the armory bookmark. I'll just load that up when I want to get ammo. <laughs> then I still have I still have 13 more levels to go till I can buy an RPG uh, minigun though. Up, I need to be let in. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn, you already queued it up? Yeah. And alright, here we go. I still haven't put in a Battlefield 3 yet. Nice. I hadn't played it since August, and then we decided to play a little bit yesterday. Played a little bit in this morning. Hmm. Might find some people that might game share some like DLC with me or BF4 or something too. Yeah. Uh, let's see, like. Oh, it's kind of intriguing good. it to think about game share though, like if. Somebody lets you game share a sixty dollar game and then just deactivate you off their account after you download it. You still have it, right? Like if Sigma were to deactivate you, Angel, you'd still keep know. Destiny. Hmm. As, long, as long as you've downloaded the full game to your hard drive, right? There's no way for them to take that off. Yeah, you can't take it off, but you still have to purchase it. You won't have to re-download it again, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like I said, I want to figure it out. I've never done it, and everyone yeah, seems to have either I don't know or a different story. I'm going to be right back. I expect if anybody wants to take a break for about, before we start this, this is going to be yeah, a got to take a piss. Yeah. I just had some pretzels with buffalo dips, but I'm still, I'm still hungry. I'll be back. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've, like I said, just lately I've been hearing different stories about how it works. So, and since they're so opposite from each other, I'm confused. It to me, it sounds like if somebody game shared, like let's say, you know, Sigma game shared with me, I downloaded Destiny because I didn't own it like you did, Angel. You know, and you had it completely downloaded, digital copy on your hard drive. Then he discontinued accounts. You should be able to still have it. That's what one person said. That's like one of, one of the things I heard. Like once you download it, you got it. PS4 game share, like when you let people take over your actual game game, that's a little different. But just here on PS3. <laughs> and after the recent slew of people deciding that's more fun to like delete people's characters on Destiny and GTA, little heat up. Don't let other random people somewhere in the world play your fucking Destiny character. And GTA character. That's so dumb. I personally, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off at the 13-year-old that, like, deleted uh, 11-year-old Destiny characters, but I'm stupid that the fucking 11-year-old was letting some random asshole play his character. The guy's on a fucking PS4 and has Destiny. Let him play his own fucking character. <laughs> All back. I'm still waiting. So one of the things with this one, of course, it's a multi-part one. We've done it before here, but it's one of those ones that if you do one part first before the right one, you will fail. And it won't fail instantly. So you'll go through the whole thing, and then it says you failed. And you're like, what? So we're going to start off. We're going to go down to Grove Street area. We have to get into a truck and read the GPS and copy coordinates. Therefore, explosives are a no-no. No blow blow, el go-go. It's going to have about six hostels, one on the roof, upper tier, fire escape. We take them out. As soon as we get in the car and get the GPS, though, you're going to get swamped with eight SUVs, four hostiles per SUV. Now, from this point, you can take buzzards and head over to the oil fields where you have to hack a computer. But you don't want to hack it till you kill all the people. So you want to be patient and let the buzzards, whether you got one, two, three, or four, do their thing. If you're riding passenger, don't take away the heat seekers. You need them for this. Ride in the back, shoot your gun if you want, parachute down, get the hacking done. After we finish that, we have to go to the airport and blow apart a bunch of trucks delivering cocaine. But there's a package in the upper right-hand corner guarded by two guards on the upper floor that have the cocaine. Your heat seekers will lock onto them and blow up the cocaine. So you gotta make sure you're very selective with your fire. If you're not comfortable doing the missile firing on that part, don't. Land on the tar mat, sniper, move in. After we get to that, there's going to be a plane that's already on the tar mat from the very beginning. Then it's going to take off, and you want to blow it up. If you blow it up before it says to, you fail the mission. Pretty simple, I think. We've done it a bunch here. We've all done it a bunch here. So we know what we need to do. Okay. It's just I'm, it's, I'm I, eating chips, so I'm muted. I'm yeah. gonna mute, have my mic muted. That's fine. I had nachos for lunch, so I was like, <laughs> I had leftover nachos. So I, was like, <laughs> I got some sour cream and onion chips and some spicy nacho Doritos. Ew. So fake I'm chips. Mixed. Do you know that Doritos are actually liquid that they harden? Really? Yeah. Like squirted wow. it. They squirt it into sheets, big long sheets like strip metal, and put it on big spiral spins, and then roll it out and just cut it into triangles. My mom used to eat Doritos as a kid, so I always used to eat her Doritos. But after my second heart attack, oh. no more. Boom. Last night I made homemade nachos with smoked salmon and roasted oh, garlic and that. onion, three cheeses. Sounds amazing. Are we all back? I think we're still waiting on Sigma. <clears throat> now, it, the only reason I, I like to point out is because no one wants to do this entire thing and then see a fail pop up at the end. And so it's really important that you do it in the right order because a lot of us go, oh, I'll just blow up the, the plane. I've done it. That's why I know. I've done that. Oh, I'll just blow up the plane now and then do this part first. Uh-uh. It doesn't work. Ooh, I, had a, I have an idea. Put a sticky bomb on and when it takes off. No, it's, it's guarded by people in SUVs. If you get too close, they get hostile. Uh, just do it in the right okay. order. Now, this is something that's very important that I, I point out to you because heists will be that way. We already know a lot.